Another good night of MMA action has come to a close for Bellator. In the main event, the self-described baddest man on the planet, Joe Warren, has now captured another world title, this time the interim Bantamweight title. He lost the first two rounds, but used his wrestling to take over in the final three, and picked up a 48-47 to unanimous decision. It was a dead giveaway the minute Michael Williams said, your winner, and now interim. Interim was the only word he needed to say because there was no way for Rafael Silva to even win the title in this fight given that he missed weight. So the fact that winner and interim were paired together gave away the fact that Joe Warren was the one who took it on all three judges' scorecards. I actually could have even seen a 49-46. to 46. I thought the first round was really close. The judges obviously gave it to Silva, but I had Warren winning at least three, if not four of those rounds. The only thing that might have caused a problem is that Warren hit an accidental kick when his opponent was grounded in the fifth round. And he got a warning from Gaspar Oliver, but he didn't get a point taken away. So, could conceivably have made the fight a draw if it had taken place, but it did not go that way. Andrei Korshkov didn't need long to finish Justin Baseman, only 1 minute and 41 seconds of the first round. He hurt him badly with a body shot and then delivered a flying knee that was lights out, it's over. So Korshkov looks impressive in yet another Bellator fight. Despite missing weight himself, the former Bellator tournament winner Marcus Galvao had no problems with Thomas Vasquez. It was just Take down, take down, take down, take down, take down, take down, 30-27 across the board. That pretty much tells you the whole story. Not the most exciting fight of the night. In the opening round of the light heavyweight summer series, Liam McGeary finished off Mike Musatelli with a walk away. Just a one-hit-quit punch. He hit it. He knew it was over. Just turned and let the ref do his job. 22 seconds of the first round. So McGeary makes a statement to all the other light heavyweights in the tournament. We got one bonus bout on Spike TV due to the two quick finishes, and that was Darian Caldwell winning his second Bellator fight and remaining undefeated as he got a rear naked choke over Joe Pinchatori, 132 of the first round. If you're interested in the other prelim results, here they are. At catch weight, 172 pounds, Dante Rivera beat Jolyn Adkins, 29-29 and 230-27s. Also at catch weight, 187 pounds, Jesus Martinez beat Ryan Cataldi, 30-26 across the board. At middleweight, Tim Woods defeated Eugene Fedora, 29-28 and 30-27 times two. At featherweight, Lester Caslow defeated Jay Haas via guillotine choke, 229 of the first round. At lightweight, Sydney Outlaw defeated Mike Bannon, 29-28, across the board. And at featherweight, Kevin Roddy defeated Amran Aliyev, 29-28, across the board. That's Bellator 118. I'm Stevie J.